Hello everyone. This is Mike, you the Canada's Earthquake Report, May 5th, 2013. And as you can see on the map, uh, there's no shortage of quakes. <laughs> uh, as usual, I've done a two and better for the last 30 days in Canada. And this is what we've come up with. Uh, it seems to be a little more defined uh, in this search. You're seeing more activity off of uh, Vancouver Island. Um, a little bit in Queen Charlotte's area. Uh, not a whole lot's been posted there. Uh, then of course lots in uh, Alaska. And then northern Yukon also has a fair sporadic uh, number of earthquakes in northern Yukon. Okay, um, uh, for one here we have one close to Stewart and this is uh, 4.3 back on the 29th of April and this was like 88 kilometers west northwest of Stewart so Stewart is just all right on the coast edge in an inlet and uh, this one is just off on the coast edge, right on the tip of the ocean, more or less, I guess. Um, so anyway, as you can see, um, same thing over Ontario, Quebec. Um, they're getting quite a few small quakes right up the the old Madrid there, which runs right down into, right down through there. Okay, now we're going to go on. Uh, thanks, uh, earthquakes. Canada for all the information we're about to watch here. I'm going to go on to the seismic viewers. And this is Naden, of course, uh, Queen Charlotte Islands, Haida Gwaii. And as you can see, uh, st still relatively uh, active, uh, st still settling there, and <clears throat> especially off the north coast of Queen Charlotte. We'll carry on here to the next one. This is Barry Inlet and uh, this would be the middle and as you can see the middle of uh, the island is also getting some uh, snaps okay uh, vendor mountain southern BC um, more or less quiet it looks like a flat line <laughs> not a whole lot happening there today and our next one is Montreal and Montreal is really calm. Little background, and you get that in the cities. Uh, nothing really to speak of in Montreal. Hello, everybody in Montreal and uh, Ontario, Ottawa. As we can see, a couple of small little um, snaps in here. Um, I can't really s see anything significant at all. This is simply background noise in the city and around the area. Uh, we'll go to Effingham, right close to uh, Toronto. Same idea, relatively a uh, little bit of missing information on this one, but can't see anything significant there. Okay, we'll head over to uh, USGS here, see what they got to say. There's some uh, some things I'd like to bring to your attention. Okay, we've had a couple of quakes uh, today. More or less, we have uh, one in the Aden uh, Gulf of Aden here out of five. Had another one uh, off the coast of Peru. Another one here, it's another 5.1. Um, what I did want to bring to your attention here is, uh, as you can see up in the United States, I don't know why uh, it keeps refreshing on me. Okay, so we have some in the United States here. We got um, <clears throat> one here today also of uh, 3.6 and another one right beside it at a 4 point, let me find it here, there you go, 4.2. And uh, of course the uh, other smaller one, 2.7, this is all uh, Yellowstone area. Um, so heads up in the Yellowstone area quite a bit of activity going on there and of course this is uh, US GS at 3.9 and this one it was uh, close to Stewart right okay so uh, as we can see activity moving around um, Yellowstone there are a lot of small stuff all along all along the coast here in the twos 
you know, they're all all relatively small. Um, we also have uh, <clears throat> we have I'll show you here. Scroll up a little bit. In Canada, we have 152 quakes found in 30 days, two and better. We have 112, uh, two and better, 37, three and better, and three, four and better. So a uh, significant uptick in the two and better quakes, uh, uh, considerably. Um, so we'll carry on here. I'd like to go to pnsn.org and uh, just bring out a little bit of what's going on here. I'm going to back up a little bit um, since we have a little bit of a quake to show you here. So this is as you can see just south of Princeton uh, southwest. We'll click on her here 2.4 that was today and of course Natural Resources Canada has a day off so that wasn't posted and uh, we also see over in Princeton area with what's going on there and none of them seem to be in the quarry area which is right here um, they're all in the 2 range we'll click on the latest here to 2.4 and of course today at uh, 2114 UTC time okie dokie um, I just wanted to point out something here I'm going to zero in a little bit, bring this down a little closer. We've got a little spot here in the mountain just out of uh, Princeton. And I've been wondering if having so many uh, quakes in this particular area. Um, it seems to be ongoing, these quakes. Um, <clears throat> this is about the worst I've seen, the eight, nine in that general area. So okay, uh, let me zero in here. Here we go. Here's what we're looking for. And this is just east of Princeton, uh, southeast, a uh, matter of kilometers. As a radar facility, um, so that planes can get their their altitude or bra uh, all types of readings it takes to uh, navigate and bring planes into airports. But we also see it does have a military uh, installation here. Uh, as you zoom in, uh, we won't be able to see anything. They've uh, blanked it off, fuzzed it out, so you can't see anything. Anyways, your normal radar goes in this area. And off this side, you'll find the military type on a very high frequency hertz. And uh, I wonder. Uh, and understanding how heart works, etc., on certain frequencies, if if it does have a, an influence on all these particular quakes we seem to be having in the Princeton area. Okay, so food for thought. Never known. <laughs> sure seems to be a little strange, though. Get an awful lot of uh, they call them blasts, but none of them are in the mine area. So it seems to be a little strange. Okay, oh, we'll go on to the next here. Um, actually, yeah, that's that's about it. So I have up. Chance favors the prepared. Um, stay prepared. And we did have a small uh, 4.3 um, back on the 29th, as we can see right here on the 29th. We had a 4.3, and this was a Stuart one. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it's been uh, fairly active, but all in the small range, which, uh, which concerns me a bit because that means uh, the pressure seems to be uh, uh, <coughs> mounting. Uh, the small ones don't release the type of uh, pressure needed to be released. And uh, as you've seen on USGS, a lot of pressure being built up on the top end uh, right up in through here, see all those quakes we just uh, noticed on the other maps, and of course the southern ones, and of course lots of lots of quakes going on in the uh, outer perimeter of the fire ring of fire. Okay, everybody, thanks. This has been Mike.
take care. I'll bring a report to you as soon as possible again when we need to do such things.